with the opening statement or just want to go ahead with questions? Well, yeah, first of all, Nick, thanks for, for setting this up. I can um, tell you this is my first ever teleconference from my home. So um, as we experience, obviously, uncharted waters, I think you guys have done an outstanding job to continue to get our product out to um, everyone who's interested. So certainly I appreciate everyone's time on the call and uh, be more than happy to fill you in on everything that's going on with Cardinal Women's Soccer. And with that, we'll start with questions. Hey, hi, Coach. This is Paulie with Cardinal Couple. How are you today? Good. How are you, Paulie? Fantastic. Thanks for joining us, by the way. Of course. Thanks for having me. Just, a, I guess, a general question for everybody out there. How are things going with, with you and the family during the pandemic? Yeah, all is good. I think anyone who asks this question, I tell them that um, it is proof. It is proof that I am not smarter than a fifth grader. So as I'm home trying to manage my soccer team, I'm also helping assist my son with his school, and um, I'm not that smart. Uh, he clearly math in fifth grade is totally different than anything I could ever imagine. I'm glad it's one of his stronger subjects because I'm of no use. If you would, Coach, kind of just reflect back on the 2019 season and some of the things you're looking forward to this season. Yeah, sure. Well, it was certainly one that um, I feel very good about. I think um, specifically our senior class, they um, they led us to the second round of the NCAA tournament. There was five of them that started and played significant minutes not just their senior year, but throughout the course of their career. So I think it was really special career for those young women. Um, and now they've uh, departed and left some holes on our on our on in our team, which is a wonderful opportunity for some of our younger kids to step into some of these vacated spots. Uh, and some of them have been doing a really good job until, you know, when we had to leave before spring break or at the end of spring break. Uh, it was a great opportunity for some of our younger kids to step into much bigger, bigger roles um, and see how difficult it is. And I think they were learning. They were embracing their role. They were doing pretty well. Uh, but certainly Brooklyn, um, Cali, Ari, uh, Allison, the, the shoes that those guys need, the shoes that those those players have left for younger kids to fill are very big ones. Um so it'll be an exciting time for some of our underclassmen and certainly some of our incoming new players to um, to jump in and and learn what it means to be a Cardinal women's soccer player. As you've spoken with some of the student athletes that will be coming back in next year, how are things going with them? Any great stories to report? Um, we actually do Zoom calls three times a week. So... Um, today we just got off uh, our last one about one o'clock. Um, so we meet with them in position groups and kind of do chalk talks. And then on Wednesday we do a team meeting. And then last Friday we were fortunate enough that, um, Jill Ellis jumped on our call as a special guest and, and she was able to talk to them. So I feel like it's always a wonderful opportunity for them to hear from Jill and she's a great storyteller and, and was really able to, um, to leave them with some some wisdom so it was a good opportunity last week was great we're following it back up again today with our video meetings and then wednesday and again friday coach the louis took place a few days back in sarah hernandez received a really nice award with the hungry and humble award talk a little bit about sarah and what she's meant to this team Oh man, she, she, what an unbelievable kid! And and if if you could uh, catch a name to somebody who's deserving of a humble and hungry award, it would absolutely be Sarah. So that didn't surprise me that she was able to to win that. Um, really benefited her first year playing alongside a Gabby Vincent and really learned the ropes, so to speak, and and has done an outstanding job in her own way, taking on her own authentic leadership style and something that's. Uh, amazing about Sarah is her attention to detail, um, I would say is is through the roof. So as a center back and 
uh, a player who the details are super important uh, positionally. She really is super attentive to those details and holds her stel- herself to a very high standard, but as importantly, holds that whole back line to a very high standard. So she's fantastic and, and very deserving of that award. Coach, two of the key players that you've got coming back next year, obviously, Amina Ekic and Gabby Fuzelis about their roles for the team next year and, and how they've been doing during this this kind of shutdown pandemic? Yeah. Um, positionally, couldn't have two better players returning and two better people. Uh, I truly believe that you need a goal scorer and a goalkeeper to allow you to win the big games at the next level. And we've got just that. Uh, Amina is arguably one of the top players in the country. And in my opinion, Gabby is the best goalkeeper in the conference. So The two of them coming back really provides us with uh, really uh, strong leadership on the field, but certainly leadership off the field. Uh, Gabby will be our team captain, and then Amina will be an assistant captain. And both of those guys, not only do they um, embody how to be a high-level player and a high-achieving player, but they also embody how to be an outstanding teammate. Um, The two of them are, are fantastic and and I'm excited for their senior year. Coach, traditionally, soccer is one of the first fall sports to get underway. I know that there's an uncertainty yet on when it just might start yet. When do you actually go into the preparations to get things ready for that season, and is that going to depend on basically on how society's doing? Yeah, but I would say that we're we're in the middle of undergoing those preparations, at least with my coaching staff and at least in our communication daily with our players. Um, I know that we can't be together, but there's always something you can do to be better and to stay ahead of the curve. And I think that we're really taking advantage of the time that we have through these Zoom calls and Teams calls and um, becoming a a technological whiz, although my players would tell you that's not the case. But I really feel like we're we're really um, advancing ourselves as much as we can. And, and I think that the excitement when we're finally able to be together will kind of be the icing on the cake. So it's one of the areas that uh, you had some graduation in, an area that uh, you're going to be looking for some people to fill in was on your defensive backs last year. Uh, what have you seen in, in this limited spring you had and some of the players that might be able to step in and fill those roles where players graduated? Yeah, great question. The defending side of the ball has always been a super important component for me for success, uh, and it definitely starts with the two center backs. So we tried a bunch of players, at least in the short time that we were together um, when we came back after Christmas. And while all of them provide us with some positives, I think that Cassie Amshoff has been a kid that stepped into the role, and we do feel like she um, she has an opportunity to be a mainstay at center back there. She's a local player from Louisville. She played at Sacred Heart and um, really high soccer IQ, uh, really great athlete. Um, I think the the piece that would have been wonderful for her would have been the experience that she would have gained throughout the course of the spring against the teams that we had scheduled. Unfortunately, she only gets the one game against Bellarmine, and we as a team only get that one game against Bellarmine. So I do feel like um, while she understands what we expect of her and she's able to execute it, there's no substitute for experience. So we're going to have to, um, you know, make sure she's confident in knowing what she knows and being able to do what she does. And, uh, and unfortunately, she's going to fail a little bit throughout the beginning of the season. And we just have to reassure her that that's OK. I mean, in failure is growth. And as long as she's learning, as she's making mistakes, um, then I think she's got a very bright future at center back for us. When you take a look at the successes that you had last season and and you talk with the players about the upcoming season, uh, what things do you point out to them that were very positive from last year and some of the things that uh, also areas where you might need a little work on? Yeah, I think uh, as a staff, we always take a look at the goals we scored and the goals we gave up because at the end of the day, that's how the game um, is determined or the outcome is determined by the goals you score and the goals you give up. So uh, I know that 
replacing Ariana and Neve is a big is a big task. Um, but I do feel like we're going to be able to do that with with Maisie Witsit and with Cassie Amshoff. So we'll continue to grow and develop at the back. Um, and then from an offensive standpoint, scoring goals, I think Delaney Snyder is going to be a kid that, that's going to uh, really factor pretty prominently. She already has, but she's always kind of got a little bit of an injury. Um, so the silver lining with maybe some time off right now with the pandemic is that Delaney's being able to is been in a situation where she's able to rest her body a little bit more. So I feel like that will be a benefit from us. Um, we were pretty good at um, I would I would say team defending is something that we're really good at. But I feel like this this past fall we did a really good job of in that transitional moment from defending to attacking we were able to take advantage of the opponent and then get in behind them specifically uh brooklyn rivers does a good job of that and amina ekic does an excellent job um i think for us now is defensively we have to learn to not just press we're a pretty high pressing team so we have to press but we also have to be able to drop off and play in maybe a little bit of a different defending system so that will be the evolution of us this year defensively and then offensively not just create goals off of a counterattack, but potentially have the ball a little bit longer build it and and advance the ball with multiple passes um, that's going to kind of be the direction that we head into to develop into a little bit more of a balanced team for next fall. Coach, last week, uh, Nadal to Ace Barats was uh, given a very nice honor being named to the First Touch Football All-Canada third team. Talk about that award for her. Uh, Nadej is a stud. I mean, this kid is absolutely unbelievable. Um in the classroom, I think she's a 4.0 engineering, not I think, I know she's a 4.0 engineering student. So that just kind of gives you a little bit of insight into who she is as a person. So the detail and the attentiveness to her studies is the same level of attentiveness and details that she approaches soccer with and being a great teammate with. So I, I, that, that award couldn't go to a better Canadian um, and somebody who I really thoroughly enjoy spending time with and being around um, and I and I love that she is uh, heading into her senior year for us this coming fall. Coach, this is Kent Taylor from Way TV. How are you? Good. How are you, Kent? Good. Um, what do you have? A, is there a a level of concern on your part that that you won't have a season at least in the fall, or where kind of are you in that process? Yeah, um, I, I think it's just so unstable and unknown that, of course, I'm concerned. Um, I would say I'm a little bit more optimistic right now that we'll have a season or at least start a season. I guess my concern, and, and this is 100% my own concern, is will our season abruptly end? You know, we, we saw that happen with basketball and and the winter sports, and and that would be devastating. I feel for everyone that that happened to. Um, so I guess that's my concern without knowing anything about when we'll start, how long it'll go. And I know our conference specifically is working tirelessly with some contingency plans because this situation is unstable and so fluid. But my biggest concern is that we don't finish the season. So I do think we'll get started. And again, it's my personal opinion, but I really, I really hope and pray that we can get a see a full season in um, specifically for our seniors, because that was a very difficult way for our winter sports to have to end their season. Anything else for coach? Coach, is there anything else you wanted to hit on? No, I appreciate everybody's time. Thank you very much, Nick, for setting it all up. Thank you, everybody. Thank Hope you. Have a great day. Thanks, Karen. Thank you.